Hello, my name is Nate, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to use time series clustering in conjunction with segmented modeling. That will entail clustering a time series data set, using that clustering algorithm to define segments in a segmented modeling project, and finally deploying that segmented modeling project into production. The benefit that this provides is that you can define your segments based off of similarities in how your series behave not just business rules. And the idea is that this could get you better accuracy out of your segments and modeling project. To start with, we're gonna be using this data set where we will be predicting sales on a store by store basis. To set up a clustering project on the start screen, you select no target to turn on unsupervised learning. Select clusters. and then set up time-aware modeling by choosing your date-time field. Next, you will be indicating your series identifier. This is what we're going to be clustering. In our case, it's store. And then you're going to be indicating what you want to cluster on. We suggest that you use the target that you will be using in your segments and modeling project. For us, this is sales. Next, you can select your feature derivation window, which indicates how far back we look when we're building your clustering algorithm, and you can set any advanced features that you want here. Once everything is set up, you're ready to start the autopilot process. Once the autopilot process is done, you will arrive at a leaderboard for your clustering project that's very similar to any other leaderboard at DataRobot. You can scroll through and see all the clustering algorithms that we've built. Click in, evaluate, and determine which one you want to move forward with. Once you've determined which one you want to use to define your segments, you go to Predict and the Use for Segmentation tab. Here, you can kick off a segmented modeling project using this clustering algorithm to define your segments. To do this, you type in the target that you want to use in your segment to modeling project and click create project. You'll see down here in this table, we show you all the projects that you've created based on this clustering algorithm and their project status. Once it's created, you can click go to project to jump to that project and begin your segment to modeling journey. In the associated segment to modeling project, You'll see everything filled in, including the targets that you just typed in and the segmentation method corresponding to the clustering algorithm. You can adjust as needed, set any advanced features, and then click Start to begin the segmented modeling autopilot. Once this is done, you'll arrive at the leaderboard that contains your combined model and all the segments that were defined by your clustering. You can click in to any of the segments, seeing the full leaderboard, looking at insights, evaluating all these models, and setting your champion for each segment. Once you're happy with all of your champions, to deploy, you go to Predict, the Deploy tab, and click Deploy to launch the deployment. You can set all the settings that you're interested in, and once you create the deployment, it'll be available under your Deployments tab, where you have full access to MLOps functionality of DataRobot.